Religion is a very controversial topic, but today I'll share with you my thoughts about it, the good and the ugly truth, and how it is related to the false light. Let me explain what the false light is. The false light is the opposite force, which is darkness disguised as the light, evil disguised as good, negativity disguised as positivity. And this tactic or phenomena is getting more prominent in recent times. It tarnishes and contaminates what the true authentic light is, and thus we become more and more confused than ever, and it's very chaotic. And this tactic is everywhere. It's in politics, the governments, the education system, and religion, and many more. But today we're gonna cover religion. So what makes a religion? Cause I was a Christian, so I'll use Christianity as an example. If we look at Christianity, religion has a set of teachings and beliefs that any believers are obligated to follow. We always believe it is the only correct way in life, and we must follow in order to go to heaven. In the Bible. Jesus is the only way and only path to salvation, only path to heaven. Now this is arrogance, and it is a fear tactic that has been used for history. And fear is one of the greatest tactics to make us obey and comply. It has been going on for many, many, many centuries. There is one good thing in religion, though. And that is, religion can be a good way to learn about morality and be an entry to spirituality. Like in the Bible, it has a lot of messages that teaches love and kindness and faith, and that is something we can learn and grow and follow. These are very positive messages, right? But it also teaches negativity, revolving on the vibration of fear, like hell, punishment. That's fear-based. And obedience and compliance. The true light does not have fear, and there shouldn't be fear based. The true light is all about unconditional love. But now it's sort of twisted. It. We just need to self-analyze and think critically about what truly resonates with us. Because usually our soul knows the best for us. Our soul knows everything about us. By being obedient and compliant, and to do what we are told to do, we are actually cutting our connection with our soul, with our inner self, our sovereignty. So it is very unhealthy. Another thing is religion is also about money. You usually have to pay to convert. Or you pay as a believer. For Christians, you pay 10% of your income as a tithe for the church. Now, there's nothing wrong with asking for money because I believe it is fair to pay for the value you receive. I would not say Reiki practitioners should charge people for free just because energy is abundant and everywhere. They still spend their time and effort to be of your service, and religion is also a form of service. However, many religions ask for huge sums of money, and the money focuses on expanding its facilities, like making the interior beautiful and gorgeous. I've seen many religions in my country where a lot of money is focused on making their church or whatever their facility to be very gorgeous, very beautiful, and they also use that money to hire more people, train them to. Convert other people, convert more people into the religion. It is clearly not for the welfare of you. It shouldn't ask a huge sum of money immediately. This includes a weekly, monthly fee. It is wrong to force someone to convert and have them pay. We spiritualists should not force something on on anyone. And claim they are always right because we believe in the free will and sovereignty of each individual to make their own decisions. 
Religion is an idea and it is an opinion. Everyone should get to decide for him or herself whether it resonates or not. Forcing someone something just because it is for their own good is a form of arrogance and a form of criticism or judgment for their paths. This is one of the most prominent traits of false light in the current world. They claim to be, oh, it is for our own good. Oh, it's to protect us. Oh, it's to save us. All of these are nonsense and bullshit. I have had a lot of experience in my country where, with religion, where people claim that if we don't follow their religion, we'll face eternal punishment, eternal pain, eternal suffering, you know, a hell, something like that. The thing is, one must truly save oneself if he or she decides to be safe. We can't save anyone if they choose not to, not to, and forcing will not work. If I force to give Reiki for someone because I think they need healing, but that person does not accept my Reiki, the Reiki healing would not work because their energy is blocked from any healing to come in contact with them. But this is also a lesson to learn. We just have to honor their choice, honor their paths. You know, good and evil is also a path, and it can also be subjective. There is a reason why in the Bible Jesus always asks people, "You need help. Do you want my healing?" Before he actually helps them. This is why, because they, he respects the sovereignty and the free will of others, so they won't force the healing on that person. Next is worship. This is also a common theme in religion, and there is a godly figure that we consider to be our supreme high, and we must treat it as at its highest regard above anything else, and obey all its rules. While it may be true that creating a civilization which strictly follows religion can significantly reduce crime, because of fear, it is ruled by fear. This is true, but you are essentially creating a robot or slave mentality for the entire human race, which robs the core essence of divine masculine, of critical thinking and critical analysis, and divine feminine of creativity and self-expression, because you are restricting us in all levels, which can block our ascension as a collective. As you guys may know already, in our spiritual perspective, each and every individual soul is equal because we are all connected to oneness. We are all connected to divine source. We are all part of that oneness. So there is no one who is truly superior or inferior because we are all truly equal. But at some point in our timeline, I believe religion is necessary. In order to establish moral boundaries for our lost and confused race, but as you ascend or go through the stair, you will find out that you no longer need religion. You find out that it's restricting. And I was there. I was a devoted Christian, but I found out I was hitting a wall once I keep going, and and that it's restricting me when I reach a certain point. So I had to leave. And that's where I start my spiritual awakening. The next thing is, religion is also about a group of community with like-minded ideas and opinions coming together, and that's what makes them very powerful because they are united. And it's also a strong control me mechanism if the teachings revolve around obedience and compliance. This is interesting because every believer honors each other's path as long as they believe. The same god or idea, but that's not the case for outsider. To outsider, they treat it as the lost ones, the confused soul. One thing we can learn about this is, we should also find like-minded people ourselves, and we should find people who share similar thoughts as ourselves to form our own communities. As you know, there is one strong quote: "United we stand, divided we fall." 
but respect those that do not share the same path and ideas. Do not criticize other people's paths and force them to agree with you. I believe religion is very similar to our current society in the way that they are very rigid on believing that they are always right and they will force you because they think they are right and it's for your own good. I believe the best way to truly convert someone, to change someone's mind, someone's mind is not by forcing them or criticizing them, but to be a role model. What I mean is continue to strive for your path and do what you truly love doing. And be, be truly happy doing what you're doing. Once you show the world you are truly happy and loving what you do, people will slowly be interested in your ideas and slowly want to learn more about your ideas and about you. Okay, so when someone wants to convert you into a religion, make sure you look for these four signs. These are the four signs of a false light religion. First, they claim that they are always right and it is the only path. And we all know that it's bullshit and restricting to any individual. You can express your own ideas and opinion but they will say no, this is better. Second sign is they are very persistent with wanting you to convert. They will keep coming to you. They will keep phoning you, they will email you, SMS you, social media. They will even go to your house. So if they are persistent, chances are it's not a good religion because it's forcing you to convert. The third sign is they don't respect your own wills. I think I mentioned that already, but they immediately shut you down when you mention your own beliefs. Like if I mention my own you know, view and beliefs on my own spirituality, they will shut you down and say, no, this is better. You know, you're not right, you know. I respect your opinion but this is a lot better than this and that you know they will always show that their religion is superior than yours your your idea your belief everything so there is a strong display of arrogance in it and the fourth sign is they ask for a huge sum of money immediately religion that quickly asks for money it is a huge red flag usually it takes time for a person to learn about it you know, especially when they're new, they need time and to see if they resonate or not, right? It usually takes at least a week or even a month to see if it, you know, fits them. But if a religion immediately asks for money to convert, it's obviously not for your welfare. Even as a business, it's not a good strategy to immediately dive into selling products without the consumers learning and trying it, right? So this is a major red flag. Ultimately, Religion is a community, but the reason why it has a bad name or fame into it is because it revolves around worshipping through fear while abandoning one's true sovereignty and one's true inner power. If they can flip that upside down, religion can have a better effect to the current world. This is Cole and I hope you enjoy this video. Much love and much light. Please subscribe, like and share the video with your friends and I look forward to the next video with you guys. Peace.